Thinking about pursuing a Memorial Day car deal? Is the timing right for it? Hi, I'm Kevin Hunter, the homework guy, here today with the amazing Elizabeth, the homework gal. Before we go much further, don't let us confuse you. We're not saying that we recommend you go out and seek a car deal over the Memorial Day weekend, but we will take an honest look at what's out there and some of the benefits that you have this year that you didn't have in 2022. But it's true that Memorial Day weekend is one of the several holidays the auto industry celebrates with sales and special marketing. But the question remains, does that mean it's actually a good time to shop for a new car? Is that true this year? That's the real question here. There's one benefit that's finally happening now, unlike last year. On a national level, while there are some dealers in some pockets around the country still asking for market adjustments, as of mid-April, car buyers on average were finally paying below sticker price for new cars again after a 20-month long stretch when that wasn't the case. That's true. In fact, already in March, the average sale price of a new car was $171 below the average MSRP, manufacturer suggested retail price, a positive indication that the market is improving for buyers who have largely been paying above MSRP since the summer of 2021. Now, you might say dealers in your area are still charging a market adjustment. I'd say the solution to that is rather simple. Expand the scope of your car search outside your area if you must buy a car. If it's not an absolute need, just be patient and wait the greedy buggers out. Nobody should be paying a market adjustment at this time. Nobody. So the bare minimum is that if you're hoping for a new car deal this Memorial Day and it is a new car you're after, you should be expecting to pay below MSRP. Below MSRP deals are indeed back and you should expect that. And I'd add to that a word of caution. Don't let the dealer offset those discounts by taking it all back by filling your car deal full of fees and forced add-ons. What Kevin is saying, do not listen to a dealer who says, look, we're already discounting the vehicle by X dollars, so you can't expect to avoid paying for fees and extras too. If that happens, just get up and walk out. Letting your feet do the talking is often a great strategy. It has been for years and it continues to be now. But let me back up a moment and say this. Memorial Day sales are still several days away. We put email templates on our website as free downloads for car buyers to help you out through situations like this. If you do need a car now and you're hoping for a Memorial Day deal, you have time, so use the email templates we created to help you. Get the out-the-door price negotiated from the comfort of home and then take that documented price with you to the dealership. So I mentioned a couple of benefits you have this year. There are also some downsides. While vehicle prices are better this year, interest rates are not. If you need to finance, you should know that according to Cox Automotive, the average interest rate for a new vehicle loan has soared above 9.5%, following rate hike after rate hike from the Federal Reserve. That's absurd. Yeah, which means that the typical monthly payment is extremely high right now, $766. And that payment is on a long-term loan. At the same time last year, the typical monthly payment was 698 even with an initial higher price. Of course, if you're a cash buyer, this doesn't really impact you. And if you are a cash buyer, make sure you see our show titled, Cash Car Buyers Can Outsmart Dealers Using Their Own Business Model, Part 1 of 2. The second edition of this video focuses on using a 72-month loan so you won't be hit with prepayment penalties. If you haven't heard enough to persuade you that it's still a good idea to wait this market out, and by the way, what goes up must come down. That's true of prices and that's true of interest rates. Always has been. Sometime it can just take time. There will be a time in the not distant future that the Fed finally caves in on their interest raising strategy and starts reducing rates. That's not likely to be the case until spring of 2024 or even after. But the bottom line is if you don't need a car right now, waiting actually gives you a chance to build up a nest egg so you have more cash to work with but you actually have to have the discipline to actually save up your money. Here's what I suggest. From the very moment that you start thinking about buying a car, look at the average car payment that's out there. As Liz mentioned, it's at $7.66 a month right now. Pay that amount to yourself every month, starting now as if you did pull the trigger on a car purchase. When a difficult month comes along in your budget where you can't save that amount, just thank God you don't actually owe it to anyone but yourself and wait for the next month. Nobody will come to tow away the car in your driveway. Sure. In just 10 months time, you'll have over $7,600 saved up. And a year down the road, you could have over 9,100. That's already becoming a nice down payment and gives you two options. You can get a better deal because car prices will continue to decline. That works in your favor and you'll have a lower car payment because you have more cash to put down. That also works in your favor. 
still on to hunt for that Memorial Day sale out there. Memorial Day sales, while there are a given list of manufacturer incentives available, the actual sale itself tends to be regional. So Very regional. So if you're hoping to find a hot deal, start your searches now for the brand of vehicle that you're after. We'll give you a few examples popping up in our area in North Dakota. Here's a Toyota Tacoma for you Toyota fans out there. The starting MSRP is $28,250. Based on national averages, a good price would be right around $28,000. The offer is a 3.99% rate on a 48-month loan. That's through the manufacturer itself. There's also a college grad rebate of $500 available and a military rebate of $500 for veterans and current service members. But generally, a special finance offer can't be combined with a rebate offer. Not always, but quite often. Here's a lease deal on the same truck, $35.89 due at signing and a lease payment of $2.99 a month for 36 months. But always read the fine print. It says just below the lease, qualified lessees can lease a new 2023 Tacoma four-wheel drive double cab SRV6 model for $2.99 per month for 36 months with $35.89 due at signing based on 10,000 miles per year. Right. That's not many miles, so if you do this deal, Make sure you are clear on what the charge is for extra miles. It also says security deposit is waived. Lease excludes tax title, license, registration fees, and dealer options and charges. Ooh. In the ultra fine print, got to read that too. It says terms available on approved credit through Toyota Financial Services, TFS, at participating Toyota dealers. So the Toyota dealer you visit doesn't even have to participate. Sure. Not all customers qualify. Lease example based on the same truck with MSRP of 35608 net capitalized cost of 32968 and a leased end purchase amount of 27062 Then there's also a disclaimer and more ultra fine print designed to make sure most of you will miss it. Important disclaimer notes include the MSRP excludes the delivery, processing, and handling of 1335 for SUV, van, small truck, which includes a Tacoma the delivery, processing, and handling fee in 10 states will actually be higher. It also says it excludes tax, title, license, and distributor, and dealer options and accessories. Major red flag there. Actual dealer price will vary. Why? Because in reality, dealers charge whatever they want, and they don't answer to the manufacturer on their price gouging tactics. You see, the possibility of a decent deal just evaporates the further you read these so-called Memorial Day sale deals. Finally, I want to touch on dealers advertising a Memorial Day sale that simply says it's a no markup type sale like this viewer reports who earned 20 thumbs up for the comment. <laughs> Jay Scat writes, I'm seeing a lot of Memorial Day sales that advertise no market adjustment as a sale. Over the last few years, dealers have people convinced that paying MSRP is getting a great deal. Not necessarily the case. As we said earlier, below MSRP deals are back. So the bottom line is, if you're thinking of buying a car over Memorial Day weekend, get it all in writing in advance and always, always read the fine print on any manufacturer published deals. I'm going to wrap up today's show by continuing our solicitation to good dealers to reach out and contact us. If you do have a truly remarkable Memorial Day sale going on and it passes the magnifying glass test, tell us about it. You can either use 701-441-3399 or email us at kevinthehomeworkguy at gmail.com. We will spread the good news because we've made a pledge to highlight and support you good dealers out there. We definitely want to hear from you. All right, if you're new here at the Homer Guy channel or you're a dealer stopping in for the first time, as Liz just shared, we're on a mission to highlight and promote good dealers around the country. So we'd love to hear from you. We want to add you to the list of good dealers we are building. In summary, we are in search of dealers who offer no funny business and provide simple, honest car buying experience for their customers. So if this last sentence describes your dealership, we'd love to hear from you. Again, our contact info is 701-441-3399 or email kevinthehomeworkguy at gmail.com. We look forward to hearing from you. Also, for our newest viewers, it's vitally important that you don't forget to subscribe and ring that bell so you don't miss out on our future announcements. Right here, courtesy of the Homework Guy team and our show, is where you always find the most reliable tips and helpful information to assist you with finding an enjoyable car buying experience in today's car market. We've been living up to that for 14 years. Join our fast-growing group of subscribers and become a part of our ginormous YouTube family. If you've just recently joined our group of subscribers, we welcome you. Also, thanks to our many faithful followers who keep coming back, and to all of our longtime subscribers out there, you guys rock. God bless you all. I'm Kevin Hunter, the Homework Guy, signing off with Amazing Elizabeth, the Homework Gal. The Homework Guy team is serving truth and justice in the car business. 
and always will. We We gotta gotta go. go.